God. He, Jesus, who was rich for our sakes became poor that we through his poverty might be rich. I'm not talking about money. I'm not talking about Rolls Royces. I'm not talking about 10 bedroom homes. I'm talking about prosperity in your life, that everything you need, he will provide for you. This is what Jesus Christ did on the cross at Calvary. And if people could have one little look about the goodness of Jesus and what he's done for you, you'd come running, you'd crawl on your knees and get Jesus in your heart. That's how important this is. But people don't see it because they're spiritually blind. And the Bible says unless you're born again of his spirit, you cannot even see the kingdom of God. Spiritually blind and not caring. Not caring. And nobody can help you. A tap on the head won't help you. Come and pray. Get your heart right with Jesus. That's why we're here today. The sole reason is for you. We don't want anything from you. I keep saying it. People think, is this some sort of scam? Are they looking for money? No. We're looking to get you safe in eternity. Eternity is a really long time. You think, you, you think this earth is a long time? You're living to a hundred or whatever? It's nothing. It's not even a blink of an eye compared with eternity. You need to get that part of your life 100% correct. Walking around cannot enter heaven is not a smart way to walk around when you don't have to. Jesus Christ has done the work. He's provided the free gift. He took our sinfulness upon himself, the sin of man upon Jesus Christ, and he took it to the grave, and he defeated death. He took the sting of death away, and he rose again. Now that sinfulness was exchanged. When you're born of his spirit, you exchange your sinfulness for his righteousness. Think about it, people. You can be righteous before God, not of anything we've done ourselves or you've done for yourself, only what Jesus Christ has done. And people just ignore it and they put it underfoot like it's nothing. Be very careful, people, what you're doing with that free gift. It's offered to you. You walk past and reject it. That's up to you, but this is an offer for you. Come and pray. Come and pray. Get your heart right with him. It's very important. People are thinking about it because people get a conviction in their heart. They get their heart and they say, I want Jesus in my heart. Come and pray with me. Hello, how are you? Give me one of these. Are you Christian at all? Yeah, last week. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Listen, you've got a different thing on it. Hey, 5,700 people. I forget. I'm sorry. I'm, I don't purposely do it, but it's hard. But good to see you. How are you? Good. Everything good? Yeah. That's good. Lovely to see you again. So um, what's up to today? Oh, you got the book there. Oh, look, good for you. Are you with... Hello. Hey, listen, thanks for doing that. God bless. Pull up any time and talk to us. Do we need to pray for anything? Are you okay? No, Okay. Hello. Hello. Has they got any more upstairs, have they? Yeah? Upstairs, up there? Oh, no, no, we've got Oh, okay. Did you get them from King Park, King's Park? Or? Okay, I'm, I'm going to have to take a trip down and get some. It, it's all right, I can... Yeah, but not Sunday, maybe. Yeah, no, that's all right. Okay, thank you, guys. Good to see you. We're going to keep up the good work, yeah? Amen. Thank you. God bless. All right, here we go. So it's good to see other people out on the street. The harvest is great, but the laborers are few. But it's good to see people out handing out Gospels of John, handing out tracts that people can be guided into the kingdom of God, out of the kingdom of darkness. This is the problem, people. Walking around in the kingdom of darkness, you need to come into the kingdom of life, out of death into life. Many people walk around, they're in life and they're afraid of death, they're heading toward death. As a Christian, if you're heading toward death, it means life. It means you've got life everlasting. This is the promise of God, this is the gift of God. But you need to receive it. I have to impress this on people. It's not just a blanket thing. You've got to come as an individual. Come as you are. People say, oh, I've done too many bad things. I've done too many good things. Whatever it is, whatever excuse is coming up in your heart, put it aside. Put your pride aside. Don't let sin stop you. Don't let anything stop you. Come, get your heart right with him. It's so important. Every person needs to be born of the Spirit of God. We're out here to, to preach this. 
to impress it on people, to get people safe. It's for you guys. It's all about you. Not about me. It's about you. People try and ignore. They think it's funny. There's nothing funny. There'll be nothing funny about standing before the living God, looking straight in his eyes at the great white throne of judgment. That's what's available. So we're going to start talking to people one-on-one -on -one now. We've shared the gospel. Jesus Christ loves you. He cares for you. He wants you safe. We're available. Holy Spirit of the living God is here today. You're here. Let's get this done. Let's get your heart right with him. This is all about you. In Jesus' name. You can be next to come and pray. In Jesus' name. Amen.